Hey, what is going on pros and pros? It's Mr. Lyman HD here and welcome to another drinks review. Today we are reviewing, right, this is a long title so bear with me. <clears throat> Fenty Man's exquisitely crafted, best served chilled, made in Great Britain, botanically brewed, full flavour, with herbal extracts, curiosity, cola. Huh. So I got to pick a drink out of B&M and it cost me 89p according to my notes. So I'll give you guys a 4360 of the package, and so we have quite a cool looking uh, can design. We can have like a like a retro kind of looking design, if that makes sense, like it's kind of got the old, you know, it's got like a paper, like a kind of paper looking thing with writing on it, you know, it just looks cool. It looks very kind of old fashioned and posh in a way. And the can's got that nice kind of rough metal feel, if that makes sense. Uh, nice color as well, it's mostly black, but there is leaves and stuff in the dark about behind it, so just nice adds to the cam. On the bottom we have nothing and on the top everything's all standard and silver including the pull ring. So guys, another cola drink. Yeah, these cola drinks generally do not taste great. Uh, this one's got a lot of writing on the front, whether it makes any difference it probably doesn't. Herbal extracts, full flavour, bot botanically brewed, probably sort of tastes like rubbish. Let's see, so made with natural botanicals and herbal extracts for a traditional full flavour cola drink. Established in 1905, so they've been going for a long time, but they ended up in B&M, so this is like a really posh drink. You buy it like a coffee shop or something, you know, and obviously they haven't been selling, so they've got rid of them in the bargain shops. Uh, what do we have? Anything interesting in the ingredients? Um, it's got a bit of caffeine in it, probably just a little bit, not much. Um, no sweeteners, as it is kind of full sugar. 7.8 grams per 100 ml. Suitable for vegans, gluten free, and that is it. There is nothing else on the back of any interest. Brewed and canned in North Fumberland. The website is www.fentymass.com. I'll put it in the uh, description if the website's running. You know, they might even be gone bust. Um, but, anyways, it's nice and cold. I have got a cup. Let's get straight into it. Hopefully, it doesn't explode over me. So guys, cola. We all know it's going to be the colour of death, which is that dark brown black colour. Smell and taste, well, it's probably just going to smell, a, smell and taste cheap cola. Surprise, surprise with the colour. Let's see how fizzy it is. Cool, quite a lot of bubbles on the, yeah. That's classic cola. I won't say Coke. That's classic cola right there. Tons of bubbles on Coke and cola seems to be the fizziest drinks on the planet. Tons of bubbles on the top. Colour is the usual death colour, which is just black, or just it's very, very dark brown. I'll pour a bit more in there. Couldn't smell the drink while pouring it out, so it doesn't seem to be that strong. Yeah, <laughs> just smells like any other cheap cola. Yep, just smells of cheap cola. Anyways, guys, let's taste some. Ugh. Yeah, this is horrible. Horrible, nasty cola. Ugh. It just tastes like you're drinking, again, like just cheap supermarket cola, honestly. It's, 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 yeah, it's no good. There's, I mean, it's not that sweet to be fair. If I have 7.8 grams of sugar, it's not that sweet or syrupy. It's just, you kind of, you drink it and then you kind of get nothing and then you're hit with that cheap cola aftertaste, which you get with every, you know, with every cola brand, no matter what you drink. It's just, it's just no good. <sighs> Nothing special, just cheap cola. And again, that's what I mean. They they make the packaging all nice, and they've been going since 1905, and it's botanically brewed, and it's full flavour, and it's got herbal extracts, you know. And I'm like, well, it's nothing special. Just tastes cheap cola. It's, it's all marketing. Like, if you're gonna buy this for probably this looks like a you know two pound fifty can of cola. I'd rather have a can of Coke, you know. And I know Coke is Coke and Cola is Cola, but Cola is basically a rip-off of Coke, obviously, or the cheap version, because obviously Coke is obviously licensed, and obviously supermarkets can't sell Coke, so it has to be Cola or any other brand for that matter. And it just all tastes rubbish. I've never liked any Cola drink. You know, Coke always tastes better. Or Coca-Cola, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah. It's nothing special with it. Again, you put it in a random cup, you put five random colours in a row, you wouldn't tell the difference. This is 
it they would just taste bad. Yeah, the aftertaste is just weird. I'll try some out the can. Ugh, just horrible aftertaste. Just ugh. That's a, I can't describe it. It just tastes horrible, cheap. Like I'm sure you guys have all tried, you know, cheap Kyler at some point. And yeah, it just tastes like that, guys. Honestly, nothing special, nothing interesting. I have to look at the website actually, see if they're still going. It's interesting, but um, I just. I don't get it. Traditional full flavoured cola drink with natural botanicals and herbal extracts. <laughs> it's all marketing, guys, honestly. But, um, I mean, it's not like absolutely vile, you know, but it's kind of just like. Uh, it's just. <laughs> I mean, why does it even exist, you know? There's so many cheap colas out there. Bar do cola, you know, for Christ's sake. Everything does cola. I mean, even energy drinks do cola. You've got. I think there's, I think there's a. I think in America, you've got Monster and Rockstar Cola out there. I mean, it's all it's it's all just trying to copy Coke at the end of the day. So, but like I said, nothing interesting. Won't keep it going any longer. Thumbs down. But as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all later.